Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Ryder. We are back with another unboxing video. Uh, Monday was a little prolific. Uh, this one's coming from Fontana, California. I'm pretty certain it's eBay. I didn't know they made their own uh, boxes. Uh, and this looks like a homemade box, to be quite honest. Maybe, sort of, hard to tell. I'm not sure how this best opens. So, yeah, I have no idea how to open this thing. Cutting along every single place. Oh, here we go. We open up on the bottom, I guess. There we go. Oh, I remember what this is now. Is this? <laughs> Miracle on 34th Street by Valentine Davies. This is the book this isn't the book Miracle on 34th Street was... No, this is the book that they wrote based on the movie. I'm pretty certain. Now, I believe... There's not even a year here? Yes, 1947. I got this surprisingly cheap. And, uh... Yes. I read this in college. Um... And it's an adorable little Christmas book. Uh, you know, it's Miracle on 34th Street. Chris Kringle... Comes to work at Macy's. Oh, damn it. A couple pages got. One couple pages got jacked up. That's okay. Santa Claus comes to work at Macy's. Uh, and. Here we go. Like everything else about Mr. Kringle, his appearance in book form does not follow any accepted pattern. Instead of appearing first on the printed page and then making his bow upon the screen, Mr. Kringle completely reversed the process. His singular personality and, chain of, and, cha and the chain reaction and the chain reaction which it started originally took shape in my mind as a motion picture story. It was only after he had come to life upon the screen that he was invited to appear within the covers of a book. I can therefore hardly take sole credit for this story in its present form. For George Seaton put Chris into a screenplay for 20th Century Fox and then, as director, brought him to life before the camera. So many of his ideas have been incorporated into this book that it amounts to a collaboration, a collaboration which I gratefully acknowledge. On behalf of Mr. Kringle, I wish to say very heartily a very hearty thank you to William Pearlberg for believing in him and for producing the picture Miracle on 34th Street, and to 20th Century Fox for their generosity in allowing him to appear in book form, and finally to Dr. Walter M. Simpson, who introduced Mr. Kringle to his publishers, Valentine Davies. So I read this in college. I stumbled across, you can barely read it, Miracle on 34th Street, I think in my college uh, um, library, and I read it one Christmas, and it was delightful, and now I have a copy, of a uh, first edition copy from 1947. Uh, they're not very expensive. If you're interested, go look for them on eBay. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it, and I will talk to you all next time.